Hey Legend fans, Jake here from Legend Boat Headquarters in Sudbury. Today we're going to be going over how to properly install and remove your transom saver. Along the way we're going to cover a couple of key benefits as to why owning one of these is important. So step one is going to be installing the transom saver bracket. All you need to do for this is locate the bolt in the center of the back of the frame. Underneath is going to be a nut, it's a 9 16 and you need a wrench and a socket. Remove that nut you're going to install your transom saver bracket and then retighten that nut. So step two is going to be putting the transom saver into the bracket. So what we're going to do is you're going to place it upside down. You're going to put it into the bracket here and you're going to twist it counterclockwise. You might not be at the ideal height, no worries. What you're going to do is use your trim on your engine here. You're going to want it just around the intake. You're going to lower with your power trim back down until it has some pressure on it. And your last step is just taking your bungee cord, you're gonna wrap it around the engine and we're gonna put that right back onto the other side. All right, so now for removing it, you're gonna follow those same three steps, but in reverse. So we're gonna take off our bungee cord. We're gonna raise our motor to release the tension off of the transom saver. Keep your hand underneath it in case it does fall. And then you're gonna spin it clockwise, and pull it out, and that's it. So now that we know how to properly install and remove our transom saver, I'm just gonna go over a couple key benefits as to why owning one of these transom savers is beneficial. So the first one and the main one is it does remove all the stress on your transom when trailering. So those motors are very heavy. This little bar can actually remove quite a bit of weight from your transom for that peace of mind, a little bit longer lasting life. The second thing would be for, uh, well, I don't know about you guys, but our roads up here in Sudbury, when I'm trailing my boat, I don't want that motor bouncing like my vehicle does. So this little bar can actually stop your, uh, your motor from bouncing quite a bit. Hope you guys find this video helpful. Check us out and we'll see you out on the water.